Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to episode 10 of Torchbearer Keep on the Borderlands. I'm your host and game master as always, Eric, aka Eric Volgaris. I'm doing it really well. I um, hope you're all doing really well. I'm so excited to get back into this game. Uh, yeah, so Virgil, um, remind us who you are and what's up with you and your character, as long as their beliefs, instincts, and goals as well. Uh, yeah, um, I'm Virgil, also known as Zircon5 on the internet. Uh, that's my Twitch, and uh, if you want to check out my music on SoundCloud as well, Zircon5. Uh, gosh, I'm excited to get back into these Caves of Chaos, um, because I, as as Kate and Sarah Nadalin, uh, am, am a true adventuring elf. Uh, my beliefs uh, is that I am a true adventurer. Elves are made of sterner stuff. Uh, my goal for today's session, everyone knows the best treasure is in the most dangerous places, I want to locate the red caves. Uh, and my instinct is remaining the same from last week. Stay out of reach of Oog. Because uh, I think <laughs> just out of arm's reach is a good location uh, to be around our good, good, good buddy, uh, <laughs> Oog. Um, Sean, why don't you tell us? Tell yeah. us what you'll be doing. Yeah, yeah. I think just out of arms reach and, you know, maybe just out of club's reach. <laughs> this is a good yeah, idea. Maybe was at the end of the arm, too. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I'm Sean Nittner. I'm at Sean Nittner all over the place. Uh, we're streaming some Girl by Moonlight this Thursday on twitch.tv slash actual play. Uh, that should be fun times. I'm playing Bran. She's the Dwarven adventurer that is leading this uh, this particular adventure we're on. And uh, now that we're in the caves, uh, she's, she's, she's poor, hopefully not making a poor decision to press on. Um, Bryn's belief is people with good intentions make promises. People with good character keep them. Uh, her goal is I'll fulfill my pledge to the bugbears and vanquish the gnolls. And her instinct is uh, the same old one that we've had for a while. When I spot poor craftsmanship, I'll improve it. Or, or rather, when I spot it, improve it. Um, and uh, that, that's my stuff. How about you, Epi? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm Epidiah, E-P-I-D-I-A-H. You can find me all over the internet. Um, and if you're in Toronto at BreakoutCon this weekend, you, you'll find me there as well, uh, which is exciting because I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a whole lot of gaming up that way, uh, if the weather lets me <laughs> get up there. Uh, I'm playing Basil, uh, who is a priest... Um, in search of the truth, uh, he's uh, in search of some truth. Truth, yeah. <laughs> uh, a priest that is rotting from the inside and outside right now. Um, his belief is the words of true and worthy gods can be found in these caves. Uh, the goal uh, is a new one: to hear the voice of a null holy hyena. I presume that's what they're called. <laughs> Some sort of knoll priest or shaman or uh, witch or whatever. Yeah. And the instinct is, when Oog turns on us, make one last attempt to discuss theology with him. So I'm on a, I'm on a spiritual quest here. <laughs> uh, how about you, Sage? Uh, yeah, I'm Sage uh, at Old Fortran with an E and an underscore in there. Uh, or just... My name's actually probably more unique than that. Search for <laughs> Sage Latour just about anywhere. You'll, you'll find me. Uh, and I am playing uh, Linus, uh, a kind of creepy wizard who uh, just really wants to be friends. Um, his belief is that he can find allies within the cave, creatures of the caves. Some of the creatures here are like me. Uh, <laughs> so he's kind of looking to uh, prove that monsters aren't so monstrous. Or that humans are all monstrous. It could kind of cut <laughs> yes. either way. Um, <laughs> the real monsters are the friends we meet along the way. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the, how it goes? Um, <laughs> that's beautiful. The, um, <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Man, I may have to rephrase that belief. Uh, anyway, well, <laughs> well, we'll see how the humans treat us as, we're, as we go through. Uh, my goal for today, I want Oog to be the hero. I'm, I'm trying to set him up to feel like he is uh, a real good friend, like he is carrying the party, like he's he's our hero. Um, so I'm going to try to set him up for some big roles and for for carrying the weight of the team. I will. Um, 
Makes me think I wish I had a soundboard going so when he charges in, I can be like, there goes our hero. <laughs> what? It's okay. We can just all sing it. We'll just sing. We all know this song. Dave growing yeah. it up. Yeah. I feel like Linus just, uh, he feels really bad that Oog, he's like magic this guy into, um, uh, and so he's really trying to make sure that he comes out of it as like uh, somebody that everybody respects and likes before he inevitably turns on us when the spell ends. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to keep my instinct from last time because hopefully it'll happen this time. When in camp, make a map. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get to camp. Yeah. 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 And over to you, Eric. I think that's everything about me. Perfect. Um, so uh, to keep, let's just keep this this hype train going. Uh, we have to do the previously on. So he wants to do the recap, the prologue, and recover condition or recover a point of taxed nature. I think it should be epi because you yeah. got all the conditions, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, can so, recover, you can't recover injured or sick with it. That's so that's the thing. Uh, I've got neither of those. Okay. Didn't you spend... Um, can't you recover whatever you spent to power through? What was that? I what spent that one health you? to do that. And I don't think... It's nature, right? It's not... When you spend oh, health, oh, oh, you just yeah. spend it, right? Like, it's just gone, gone. I mean, I'm more than willing to do it. I just get no benefit from it. So somebody uh, else oh, can get it. I didn't realize well, you couldn't recover sick from it. So if that's the case, then maybe we should reconsider. I, but... I have no conditions and I'm yeah. full on nature, so I don't need it. Let me take a look at Bran. Oh, are we all just so fresh? Am I just like, like daisies? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, a baby? Am I a baby DM to you? Am I too nice? Yes. <laughs> um, you, uh, you very. I think you're very, terrible at rolling dice. Is the problem <laughs> that you uh, experience? Uh, you you <laughs> very, very infrequently give us conditions when we fail rolls. You often give us twists when we fail rolls, which are interesting and fun and cool and put us in dire, more dire situations. That's but, true. But we don't get a ton of conditions, so I don't. That is neither right nor wrong. That's just a style thing. Um, uh, I do not have I do not have any conditions or tax nature either. So uh, if anybody's gonna benefit, I'm fine. I'm fine doing it. I just passed my notes on it, so I can. Flip yeah, it. sure. Okay. Go yeah. for it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, okay. So, though, actually, my first note is that last time I recapped. So oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. So I like literally, a, you can. I have a pretty. Right? I have a pretty good idea of what went down. Okay, go for it. Uh, we had uh, raided the camp previously, um, as we were wont to to hunt down these 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 raving uh, like bandits, uh, but they were smashed by Oog. We hooked up with him, and we wanted to find our other buddies uh, to go and and raid this knoll cave, uh, the bugbears, which we had arranged a meeting spot. Um, but when we arrived there, we heard heard or seen nor hide nor hair of them. But we had been being trailed by a bunch of humans uh, sent by what's the dwarven leader's name? Uh, Yogan. By uh, Yogan to to make sure that we were holding up our end of the bargain. Uh, and uh, I don't know, maybe they thought we were du double crossers or something. Um, but we had the proof. Uh, that we had taken care of business, we gave them the flag that we had ripped down from the camp uh, and convinced them that uh, they need to let our, our ogre friend be, uh, which was a bit worrisome, a bit tense. Uh, but uh, gosh, who was it? Someone scared them off at the end. Well, well, uh, uh, Linus convinced them by yeah. telling them the truth, honestly, that we had yeah. charmed Oog and, uh, and, and that we were you know, but that 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 like, but that the spell is fragile, and if they if they stuck around, he he was our friends, but he was he was friends with us, but not with them. You know, yeah. <laughs> they that yeah. they should beat feet, and they did. Yeah, so that was pretty great. Um, we had good luck uh, navigating our way back to the caves of chaos, um, uh, where with the help of Oob, we found good good area to scope things out from up above on the hills. Um, and we did locate the Knoll Cave we wanted to find. Uh, I snuck down there um, after we convinced Oog that it was a job that I should be taking uh, and not him. <clears throat> I think he was a little disappointed that I got the spotlight or something. Uh, but I went down. There was some kind of 
tussle down there, but also just a few knolls right in the front of the cave. Uh, so we rushed in there to try to chase them off towards what, whatever other scuttlebutt was happening down there uh, and successfully did so in, in quite a mighty battle uh, in which, um, unfortunately, uh, Basil was uh, injured. Um, and Only he was, briefly. He was, he was uh, <laughs> he had to tough it out. I think he just, you know, said, uh, you know, the gods will carry me through. <laughs> My faith is stronger than, than the flesh. Than this um, crossbow bolt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and gosh, what, what, what else happened right there at the end? I think that was about it. We just kind of uh, huddled back together and ate some food to get rid of our, our hungry, thirsty. Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's exactly yeah. it. We, uh, we ate, so we weren't, we weren't hungry and thirsty. And then we, yeah. Because uh, everyone's feeling good. We didn't do any camping. Yep. And, and right. when I mean, say everyone, I mean everyone. Everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think we have some, what's our, our torch light I think is, is current right now. Cause we just lit a torch before we came mm-hmm. in here for that conflict. So we've got a torch with a, a turn left know. on it and a lantern with a product two, and, uh, which is enough light for everybody. We've got food and we kind of know, like, uh, Eric, tell me if we're correct. We have a general sense of like where the noises are coming from down the cave. Like there's like one really bad noise. Like there's some scary thing in there that we kind <laughs> of know is one way or the other. Is that correct? Or do we not have any idea like where what's going on further down? Uh, you don't really know further down because your light doesn't get down that far. Uh, all you know is that there are probably about a dozen or so calls of gnolls just, just a, a, as they frantically take up arms and get ready to... Um, attack especially after the ones you've driven off back there saying you know intruders 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 right right rally yeah um were there any good boulders like right outside yeah above the uh, entrance yeah. The <laughs> you're thinking what i'm thinking <laughs> the we, we have a giant ooh he could like just oh, yeah if, there, if there's a passage that we can cut off by collapsing or by bottle or by shoving a rock in front of it they do there is a giant rock in front of something another one of the caves down below but i don't know if it's possible to get it up um not in time not in time yeah you can already hear the sounds of crude swords and crude iron being dragged against the ground as 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 footsteps are you know loud footsteps are turning like some some of the gnolls were obviously waiting around ready armed and they are um grouping up for for an attack Right. Uh, all right. Well, um, last time I remember we did pretty well in a battle when we had like the hallway of death for them to run down. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was like a pretty big cave area, right? Yeah. So we're in um, right now. Describe what it looked like. What exactly. we do see down the way. What's exactly. It like? So um, what it what it looks like for you right now down the way is that your light cannot go down this sort of um, creaky stone. Once you, uh, you know, we're, we're out of the natural cave part. We're back into the the smoother stone, the ancient stone uh, that seems to predate any civilization. Um, and your your light cannot protrude down this staircase that seems to descend about twenty feet or so. Like it just seems to hover there. And whatever is going on down below is is the sounds of the hoops and the hollerings. And they're going to come up those stairs. But while yes, there's a kind of a choke point. You're basically <laughs> looking at a hallway scenario. Um, okay, so these are these are like no longer the natural yeah. style of caves, though. Correct. These are like, and right. uh, also clearly not knoll built because they would just chew through the rock to get to get a good <laughs> cave. Exactly. Um, uh, it's all scratched up, right? It's all like scratched up. There's bits of hide and fur everywhere. Um, if you want, if you want a cat or a dog, you understand. Um, <laughs> so it, um, it's just have, have they been it, scenting? It just, it just Gosh. sounds like um, just a, a cacophony of sounds is just bellowing and up this. It's getting funneled up this one hallway, uh, up to where you are, because then it's like also getting bounced off another wall. So it's really you, you, there's no good way of knowing really what's what's going on. Right, right. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, bring is is this dwarven made? And I like slap the the walls. Um, I think we established uh, last time when we went in here that the, that the stonework is like really, really old. And I think, didn't you say it was Elven made? Uh, like from like way, way back when? 
Yeah. Oh, or is that it's or 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 the uh, age would... of elves, right? Like they're okay. on the first um, type mm-hmm, or first mm-hmm, elves mm-hmm. type being. Yeah. yeah so um, well, I have elven craft wise. So if it was made by an elven stone crafter, I mm-hmm. would probably be able to tell. I think you would. Yeah. No. Uh, you really okay? Um, you would. You could tell that it is vaguely elven, but it doesn't seem. It seems like a like an offshoot of okay. elven. Um, um, you're, you're not, I mean, with Elven lore wise, you have a good sense that like, these are not, these are not elves that I know. These are not elves of, you know, of the, um, the my, forest or right. like, I forget the name um, of the, the forest, but anyways, like, you know, like this is, oh, these are, these are some other elves and, uh, real. So, uh, so I'm going to say, uh, quick search, search the walls. The, um, yeah, you have the, the people that, the people that built this might've put a, a secret, secret entrances. Uh, the gnolls wouldn't have found them. So I'm gonna like quickly search the walls to see if there's like uh, and like closed off entrances that have been opened up by the gnolls because they're you know well built into the stone and not obvious. Um, Br- Bryn, well, Bryn, we we kind of had a little bit. This is this is a little bit of like our first time when we came in as well when we like pulled one of, one of the stones came loose and something collapsed. Right, so Bryn is thinking like, "Oh yeah, there there were some loose stones." And she's shorter than Cadence, and she'll she'll sort of get in there and say, "If if there's one, there'll be a keystone." And she'll like uh, be uh, poking and she'll take out a little hammer and like, well, not hammer, she'll just with her hands like be pushing really quick because we we know we don't have time. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, we'll see if there's anything free. Okay. Um, I mean, on a cursory glance, there's it's if there is, it's 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 hidden and you're gonna have to work really hard at it at like trying to um, find one right there's nothing there's nothing that's easy is what i'm saying right it's gonna, require, it's, gonna, it's gonna require you to take time and, pre- and do this uh meanwhile the forces these these knollish forces of darkness are amassing uh another loud belch um from from a much deeper body richer body's voices of, of a knoll uh rings out yeah so uh i think i think if like at a very cursory like pat down uh it doesn't show up bren says cadence we don't have time to just we don't have time to search this they're going to be upon us in a moment we can either charge down and try and cut them off but possibly but pop but uh, you know and try and catch them before they've unified um and, and go down maybe a, a passage but we don't know what we're going to or we can hold this as a choke point and she sort of looks up at the stonework and looks at Oog and says, "Possibly collapse it on them if they get if there's too many of them." Um, uh, does it look like it's crumbly enough, and the Oog is sort of statuary big enough that if he like smashed the the stones with his club, that he could get a get get this uh, stairwell to collapse? Or is it like it won't be easy? It won't maybe, be- but maybe we could do kind of do both at the same time if if we can't find. Uh, you know, if we spend some time observing the structure here, if we don't find another secret tunnel or something, yeah, uh, I don't, then we'll at least find like a structural problem. All the all the keys that all the cues that that Eric has been giving us as a GM is that there is not a lot of time. Is that like yeah. if yeah, we if we a... if we spend time looking for a secret door, whether we find attacked. it or not, we're well, going to get well, we exactly kind of like the smashing. So that we have like a nice exit right behind us. Because <laughs> we mean, are right. If we smash not the... far, in, we're not that far in right now. Right. Uh, but then again, we won't have like found the lead knoll or anything like that if we do that. But I think if we can try and um, uh, I don't know, is our Basil or or, or or Linus sort of having any particular reaction? Because we're having to do this very I mean, quickly, and so Bryn kind of wants like let's let's pick a plan. And she's like saying, let's start right now. She's saying, let's, let's stand on the stairwell and collapse it if too many come. And that's, that's like yeah, what I, seems most sensible in the, in the moment. Excuse me. Uh, uh, Linus likes that and likes that it uh, sets up Oog to kind of be a key part of our plan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, like he's part of the team. So yeah, I'm all for it. Let's all right. do it. And Basil is just completely, uh, you know, ashen and sweating. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah. Like, wherever you point him, he's gonna do it. Cause he's- All right, so <laughs> what I wanted, what I wanted, Eric, tell me, yeah. this, this may fall in the same category as searching for a secret passage where it's gonna take too long. But w- what I have in mind for Bryn is like, Oog lifting me up and taking a bunch of my iron spikes and hammering them to the ceiling and like 
attaching our rope to it so that we like rig a collapse, like we like rig it to collapse on them um, with like combination of oog and 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 tools to weaken the stonework so that we can like have a rope that can collapse it. But again, like yeah, I don't know if that's even like something that sounds like it's conceivable or if it's you know they're literally right around the corner and there's no time for that either. There's not really a lot of time for it because the first ones are basically going to get set upon you. You're going to have to be withstanding the, you know, the fight is going to be happening while you are on top of Oog's shoulders by the time, you know, because right. it takes time to go up in pines, go like ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, this is not easy stone to work with, right? Uh, so if you're, if you're okay with those consequences, we can do that. Right, right, right. right. Uh, right, right, right. Essentially that we would... Win or win or lose, succeed or fail. If I try to rig this, they'll arrive in yeah. the middle of me doing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're in their uh, house. You're an intruder, and they're ready to get. Sure, it. but we want to drive off conflict and send them back, right? Yeah. Like yeah. we also like push them back into yeah. you know so that we had space. Um, so uh, true. I, I I think it's I think it's. Uh, um, let me ask you one more question. Does it sound like they're all coming or does it sound like a small wave of them is coming right now? Uh, all of them. Okay. Then I think it's worth it to have that Bryn be in a not ideal position at the start of the fight to be able to have something rigged to collapse on them. I agree. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to say quickly, Ooh, lift me up there. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's set something up. Yeah. Okay. So, um, let's, let's do this as a versus test rather instead of you, like how good are you at setting this up? Because uh, mm -hmm. I think it's a whether can you do this, bef you know, while while the fight is happening, basically. Yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah. It's it seems like speed is the major. Yeah. Cool. So, um, I think I think we'll negotiate the fiction that way. Uh, yeah. Good. So so right now there's a um, there's a, a a cadre of gnolls. Um, these ones are all armed with uh, crude metal weapons. Uh, they seem to be like maybe um, at one point large axes. Maybe maybe they were all. Um, Maybe like bits of like a hal like a halberd, right? That's been broken, and they're just mm. using it as like an axe now. Okay, so I think we uh, the the uh, the the three of us, you know, have to jump in front of Oog to you know protect him while this is happening. Uh, <laughs> so we've got like the tiny phalanx in front of the giant <laughs> ogre. Nice. Yeah. Shields out. Yeah. Shield, shield him, and I envision that we're staying on the top of the stairwell, right? Like that's our goal is to like, get to have yeah. the have the higher footing, be closer to the ceiling, and all that jazz. Yeah. So this fight is going on. Uh, this the, the first wave kind of gets like, you know, takes a step back as Oop takes a swing. You rock a little bit. <laughs> nice. And, you know, and and you get ready to to make the. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so you want to make the versus roll. Before the conflict, or do you want that? To yeah, this isn't a conflict. I think this this is a this is, this is a this is a single versus test. I think this might dictate terms of a conflict. Uh, that, that the inevitable one that we're probably leading into. Yeah. The inevitable, yeah. probable, probable one. Yeah. <laughs> so to speak. So. I, I I agree. Uh, cool. Um, uh, now that I settle this, I think. Well, I think my nature of crafting applies. But I don't know if there's a difference action yeah. spell that it would be. Fra Fraser and Chess, it's desperate limited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Fraser. Yeah. You're, you're pretty much you're pretty much dead on. Yeah. Well, um, I'm I'm uh, hey, I'm making my setup action. Yeah. That's if if, if, if uh, we'll see if it works okay. or not. But yeah. So, uh, so n not all the gnolls can help. There's more gnolls than um, there are that are available to help in this test because they're getting jammed up. Surface by area? The, uh, yeah, right. By, by the hallway. All right. You got so that for you. I think we're rolling nature versus nature. Well, I think I'm rolling nature. I think I'm rolling crafting um, uh, to make this to make this thing. So I, I'm guessing it's nature v. nature. Does that sound right to you? Um, yeah, because it's part of your crafting. Yeah, yeah. I'm willing to do that. Right. I mean, it would be criminal to make a trap, but I don't have criminal, so I can put my nature instead. I was confused because you meant criminal is the skill. And criminal, I was like, I, was like, I think it's skill. just clever. I don't know if criminal is the right descriptive <laughs> term for our trap making. Uh, I think criminal is the skill for trap making, but, uh, you know, since I'm crafting, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to sub my nature in. Um, all right, cool. Uh, can anyone help? 
I don't know if anyone can help. You're crafting a sunroof for the cave. <laughs> yeah, I'm crafting a sunroof for the cave. Uh, um, ooh, let's see. I mean, I do have the Elven craft wise. Oh yeah, uh, you you know. Oh, so, you know yeah, I can say I can say uh, you know. Uh, uh, there will there will be um. They put in they put in decorative stones. They won't be as as strong if you can find one. Get in between there. Cool. Oh, uh, those elves and their decorative stones. I'm gonna be since I described this part of the narrative anyway. I'm gonna be definitely using my iron spikes. So I'm gonna roll for how many iron spikes get used up. In this uh, and. I've been in here enough that, uh, so I'm Caves of Chaos wise. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think just knowing the the stonework that we've seen, I can like point to, to good spots to yeah. like, you know, oh, we, I, I saw a wall that looked like that falling down over in that other part. Like you can probably mm -hmm. jam it in there or whatever. Right, I think between Caves of Chaos wise and Elven lore wise, I think it's actually fair to say that um, you know that these are elves have gone down the path of chaos, right? Right. They, oh, they have turned right. from the elven cool. lords, and that this place was. Tell me more. I mean, uh, I, I know. I, I I think it's fair to say that but between both of those wises, you can probably yeah. that. Out. That is so awesome. I bet they play some way out there jazz. <laughs> Brit is like r like rocking around on top of Oog's shoulders, you know, trying to hold on to him, trying to hold on to him and not fall off. And you tell her this, and she's like. Of course they bloody are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course these are chaos elves. Great. Uh, I'm totally going to use Born of Earth and Stone. I mean, if there was ever a time for 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 Bryn to to use that trait, like she she when she puts her hand on it, she's like, this stone is stronger than others, right? Like she just knows intuitively what's what's uh, what's um, uh, weak the weak spots in construction. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, awesome. So we're rolling, rolling verses. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm throwing six dice at this. Cool. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Uh, seven. No problem. They have some nature. All right. So I'm, t I've got nature five. I've got uh, help from two different. I've got two helping dice from Wises. I'm gonna add a die for my uh, uh, Born of Earth and Stone trait, and I'm gonna add a die for the Iron Spikes as tools. Does that sound right? Yeah. All right, and survey says, I got five. Damn, cool. Well, let's see what I get. And I only got four. Uh, nothing, not a lot. And I got no sixes. Um, and I don't know that I've got any way. I don't have a relevant wise. I don't have a goblin. Uh, well, let's see. I shoot appraisal wise, which seems like an awful stretch. And I have goblin wise, which is not applicable at all. Um, so I think that's a fail. Unless you guys, unless you guys think shoot appraisal wise, like makes sense for um you know you've uh, you know i can appraise I, I feel like appraisal is like that's a goblet worth something not that's a stone that's been well crafted or not but i don't know i could i could kind of go either way if you think that that's applicable um i mean you could be like i wouldn't pay someone to make this trap for me <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah exactly critiquing your own craftsmanship. yeah you're like <laughs> that would be yeah. Okay, cool. Fail. Uh, so, since I was helping with the wise on that, does that count as a fail towards my wise mm -hmm. thing? Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I totally forget to do that half the time, and I just want to make sure I was doing it right. Yeah. So. Um, okay, so you fail. So yeah. that means their, their attack breaks through. Um, cool. So what I think what this is going to be is a conditional success. Um, I think naturally, um, Oog takes a nasty slash, um, and has to, like, stumble on the stairs and throws you off as you're getting the last one in. Oh, and so, oh, Bryn, nice. I think, I think you're injured. Oof. Um, as you, like, crack okay. your head on the, 
on the ground, on the hard ground as you, as you fall. But the, the pythons are in place, and maybe like you held onto the rope or whatever as yeah. you fell. But um, nice. no, you, you, you slam your head. You, you like could have tried hard. to stop yourself from hitting your head by, <laughs> by holding on them, but that might have. That might have collapsed. Uh, like, I'll just hit my head. Okay. All right. Let me help the trap. If, and, if I can, if I can, uh, if I can flavor that any, like Bryn's like, no, keep, you know, stay still, keep yeah. doing it, and basically, like, she just like sticks with it too long. That that by the exactly. time she finishes, it's like they've already, yeah, yeah, I no, like, oh, I, I love think, it. Thank you, Sean. Exactly, because like Ook's like, okay, friend, I'll do it for you, and like you know, he's done. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. exactly. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. When uh, when you land, a Basil comes running over. Because, you know, he wants to make sure you're all right and check the wounds. But clearly, like, he's the last person you want touching any wounds right now. <laughs> just coughing and... and yeah, he's like, he's treat you. With. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, Bryn, Bryn, Bryn hits the ground hard. Like, there's, like, she's wearing that helmet. And there's, like, this dud, you know, as, like, her... as her Echo down the cave. As her brain beat <laughs> bounce around inside that helmet. Yeah. And, um... And I'm thinking it's like a concussion. Does that sound yeah, like exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so she she hits a gun hard and she like lays flat for a second, like she's like she's out. And then you see her eyes are open when you get there. Um, and she's like, she can barely, you know, she's like struggling to try and move, but then she like points and then like you see the rope hanging there. Like it works. Exactly. <laughs> Here they come. Your eyes are fully dilated, so you can see slightly better in the cage. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. right. Do adventures um, like concussion protocol? Do we like need to? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gary Gygax. Do you know which cave of chaos you're in? <laughs> How many fingers am I holding? Yeah. Gary Gygax in a black and white referee calls timeout injury. Oh, yeah. <laughs> car, two people in medical injury, things cart you out of here. <laughs> that, that's um, adding a whole new like layer to the GM referee thing. Like yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Time out for concussion protocol. Red card. Red card. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Yeah, so so the grind takes down, um, the torch goes out, but you're so you're able to get this off, but at, at a great price. Yeah, um, both you and Oog are injured. Oh, yikes! Ooh, okay, ooh. Um, and I think everyone else who helped, who's obviously not um, not immune because of Wises, is also hungry and thirsty. Ah, uh, every, ah. Ev- no, everyone else was. No one else helped without Wises. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's right. Everyone, let yeah. get old Wises. Yeah, good old Wises. Um, because Basil, you didn't help. And no. I'm and, helping now. Yeah, exactly. And everyone else will help wise. So l- luckily, you guys are insulated from that. So I think I'm, uh, I'm helping now. <laughs> oh, was that yeah. in the moon <laughs> there? Everybody like runs over to Brain to, to check on her. I run over to Oog. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> are you okay, Oog? Uh, um, yeah, and, and you're you're doing that as like Oog's like get back, friend, and it's like another like like attack from the axes uh, yeah. going. He like blocks it. Cause, um, imagine Oog's like on a on a knee, right? Like imagine you know when yeah. Boromir takes like two arrows or whatever, and he's fighting. That's what Oog's doing right now. Yeah. Oh right. god, if Oog dies, I'm gonna be a real torn up. So um, like that's well, that's where I'm Oog's gonna breathe a sigh of relief because that way he can't come for us when the magic wears off. But, um, <laughs> right, I'm gonna be sad. He he is injured. I mean that means both he and I are. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're in a uh, bad place. Bryn, Bryn yells, light, a, light another torch, and assuming that they're going to be uh, on us. So yeah, yeah. Um, they, I'll, I'll, yeah. I have a torch uh, I'll, in my hand, actually. Um, I'll light it. Because we've got a lantern and still going. I think my so torch just be... went out. Yeah. Yeah, your torch just went out, my friend. But I assume yeah. you're probably going to be lighting another one or something. Somebody is. I'm looking for. Yeah, it sounds I mean, like I do have another torch. I don't so know. I'm going to get out. Listen. I'm going to get out a torch and my knife listen i don't know if this is a free action because you know that you know how you can like eat and light a torch if you're not pressured you're yeah. kind of pressured right now um that's, that seems reasonable so i don't know that if that's if i would allow you guys to light a torch at this moment um it would seem okay. to be like that is something you would need to spend time doing uh so can i get out my torch and knife um, yeah, but if you're getting out, of, okay. So let's, I, okay, so let's, maybe we're not getting ready for the conflict yet. I think maybe there's another thing of being like, hold them off because we're not ready kind of thing. Or whether or not you're gonna try to do the trap, whether or not you get these lights going. Um, you know, right. this is all happening too fast. And I, I, don't, I think it's, I mean, it's totally fair to say like, like we, you pretty much told us we're gonna make this one action 
Yeah. And then they're going to be on us. And that's yeah. what it is, right? So I think it's fair to say that, I mean, we could have said, well, while Bren's doing this, I'm getting a torch ready, but we didn't. So I think it's fair to say the torch is out. And I don't know, maybe between yeah. rounds when we, because during a round, before a round, you can pick a weapon and you can we choose are. a torch as your weapon if you want to. Maybe yeah. two rounds we could light it or something like that. Like after the first exchange, I don't know. But like, I think it's fair to just say like they're here. You don't have time to do it. That's, yeah. that's right. That's yeah, I think after a volley, it would make sense that then that would be enough. That would yeah. be sufficient. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for I'm thanks down. for that. Yeah. yeah. That, that makes sense. All right. So conflict time. Oh, here. Here. What do we want to do? Uh, I I'm not gonna have Bryn lead this conflict. She's she's getting up from. Um, a, a, she's getting up from a concussion, so Very she's nauseous. not in a fictional position to be like, murder them to a one, or drive them back, or capture them, or whatever. So I'm, I'm gonna defer on this one, that she'll follow it, someone else's lead here. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, with injured people, I almost wanna escape. Um, <laughs> almost. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think as you guys are, are figuring out what you want to do and struggling with the torch, you hear one more cry of like the of the the you know the the den mother of, of the gnolls, and and the den mother um, what, like in, in this loud um, screech, uh, all the all the gnolls kind of like make way for her to get to like kind of like near the front for this fight. Um, she's she's just she's about uh, a foot and a half bigger than the other gnolls, just completely decked out in silver and skulls, all over them. Nice. All right, if she is here, I have an idea then, which is our conflict should be another drive off conflict, and it should be to try and push them back while we collapse the the. the Can the, we push them out and then collapse on, the thing? Well, <laughs> she. Trap them yeah. out of the cave. This is this is a really good moment because she points at like the the ceiling, right? She's like, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> and, and like like warning them. Yeah. I, I, also, I, so I'm sorry. I have one more detail. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I, I, I want to not interrupt, but I'm sorry. Sorry, because this no. is for Basil. Um, her her chest is obviously like a holy symbol. It's just yes. one huge ravenous maw, right? Yes. Like on like on her belly up. <laughs> Like, uh, it's just this, you know, just upper and lower teeth. So, uh, shape. Uh, Basil is perfectly willing to lead this conflict, but uh, you can see that as he's like, "What we should do?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I, I, I have one. I have one idea that this is mostly just Sean sitting out there. I don't really know that Brandon is capable of this. Is that we could try to do a drive back conflict where we separate them from the, their from their leader by drawing her into the fight and collapsing the tunnel on them. Yeah. And so like, Ooh, then it's just us and her. Splitting your forces? Yeah. 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 yeah, I think, because right now there's tons of them and like, we're yeah. we're tough and it's we have- literally a dozen. But well, I think I think we wanna, if we're gonna phrase our goal, I think it should be specifically about separating the dead mother because then if we have to compromise, like maybe we split them a different way or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, I think yeah. Our, if our initial goal is to separate her. Separate the dead mother on our side of the, the cave-in, right. like specifically. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a reasonable goal. I don't think that's like an overly specific goal or anything. And that yeah. way if we, we compromise have, on we it. We have a cave-in set up, she's pushing to the front, it feels like it's possible. Yeah, I think that's a, I mean, to me, that sounds like a reasonable goal and uh, it gives us plenty of room to compromise if we have to. And we're gonna have to. Um, so you, <laughs> yeah. so you're, gunning, you're gunning for a drive-off conflict. Yeah. Yeah. And we're wanting to drive them off to, to cut off Cut off the. Uh, what, what was the term we were using for? Dead uh, mother. The, dead the den mother. mother. Cut off the den mother from her reinforcements. Right. Uh, okay. Um, they kind of want to do something with you too, right? Um, I'm betting they have their own feelings about it. But yeah, they want to split you up um, and and take one back for feast. Oh yeah, that makes total sense. I mean, <laughs> it sounds to me like we're all pretty much down with this this stairwell is going to collapse one way or the other. It's just which side are people on when this happens, yeah. right? Like how well do we control that? Yeah, and oh, um, there's a really good point. Um, Seth in chat brings up that when in darkness, uh, you may only flee, riddle, or argue. Um, there's a lantern still going. Um, yeah, yeah. But it, it's yeah. it's getting low. It's, it's low, it'll be out after this this turn, but 
but hopefully but, by then a torch will be up. Yeah. But um, let's also keep in mind because now that we do not have enough light to be sufficient for everybody, that should influence. Three How of us get to be it. in so light. So I'm going to be in dark because I'm getting out of torch. Uh, no, it's just one person's right. in dim light, which means it's a I'm, factor. Or, yeah, I'm in dim light until I get sure. something left. Yeah. And you right. guys so are that's, that's an issue to, to be aware of in the order. Um, if, Basil's, it's Basil's lantern, so I think it's probably Basil's choice. Also, their captain, so it's their choice. Yeah. So, and I... One thing to think about, so like we're deliberately not making this a capture conflict. So like if we get her separated, she's still gonna be mm. like Oh, we we can though. We're high enough order of might. We that I think I, I think we sorry, I you're right, uh, Sage. We sorry. I think maybe we should go for a capture conflict. That's actually that's that's a viable thing. It's like we want to capture her. And I mean, it sounds kind of like they want to capture us so they can eat us. So that may actually be closer to what we're trying to do. I mean, I yeah. guess they wouldn't mind killing us, but um, I think it may actually be a capture conflict. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable because that also would factor in like the capture conflict would also be like after you split them up, you're able to subdue them. Yeah. It kind of rolls that all into one. That way, yeah. we're not just doing like so, yeah. one conflict, then roll. Yeah. Right then in. a separate I mean, fight in, test. In my like, head, like, 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 cave in, yeah. the cave in was happening, and then we're on the other side of her, and she would be captured. Yeah, perfect. Um, all right. So. Um, we're doing that. And if, if we want more light right now, uh, I do have the blessings of, of Lords of Light and Darkness. Oh. Oh, yeah. And spells and, don't take a turn. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of tempting. I mean, well, you go? I think you should uh, go yeah, for it. It would be impressive. I'm going to be dead after this conflict anyway, yeah. so let's do it. <laughs> um, let's just I'm, you know, go out with a, yeah. a flash and a bang. <laughs> you're because you're sick, right? Yes, mm -hmm. he's sick and injured, and um, no, no, just sick. not injured. He's right. sick, uh, but he has lowered health, which is yeah. not great. Health of two. So, I because I. I can't remember. I don't have to roll to do this spell. It just happens, right? Uh, no, you do. You have to roll whatever your spellcasting spell is. It's, um, yeah, we got to pull. I got more. <laughs> the sick face is hilarious. Yeah. Oh, sick. On the icon. Uh, on the, yeah, I like. Um, I think you roll ritualist. Um,. Oh, oh, and it's got factors based on like probably my guess. I'm gonna pull it up. It's probably based on like how much light you want to produce, and uh, no, it's just ob three. It looks like. Ooh. So well, oh. this isn't gonna happen, but we'll give it a shot. Okay. That's what Basil would do. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's Double? see here. Okay. Wait, yeah. what am I rolling? Am I rolling? You said ritualist. I think oh. it's ritualist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I so, think that's right. Theologian is to get spells. Ritualist is to cast right. them. Yeah, exactly. So I got a four Not in a Ritualist, doctor. but it's a minus one because I'm sick. Yeah. So I am rolling three dice. Yeah, do you want to use I think it'll... Three successes. I think it'll automatically remove a... You don't. I don't think you remove a dice for being sick, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, it, it doesn't do it on the other end? No, no it's, it's, not a, it's not minus one success. It's minus one die. Oh, ouch. Well, right. I mean, well uh, so, and then he, wait, which one is it? Sick? All three will to get unsick? Yeah, you yeah. you can't do that it in, like... in camp. You, right. you, you can't get unsick right now. That's yeah. not. Uh, All right. But I am touched by the gods. Right. So I, I am, if nothing else, touched. You're dead uh, God. Something. So, I was thinking of saying that, but I'm glad you heard. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to do that. Uh, so that gives me another die. Any? There's no really help that I can get from any of, any of you. I mean, if any of us had ritualist, we could help, but none of us do. Yeah. I think so. Oh, that's true. I don't think so. And anything I can spend fate or persona on. Wait, you can get dice spending one of those ahead of time yeah if you spend persona you can either add a plus one d or you can cap your nature and add your entire nature but it, i don't think it fits your nature so it means you'll be 
you'll be taxing it. Yeah. Yes. Unless you figure out a way that this is boasting, demanding, or running. Running. It was For none so, of those. Are you demanding well, something from the gods? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. I like it. That's you are, are you cool with before. the consequences <laughs> when mortals demand things from gods? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it. Basil just gets down on his knees and, and is like, uh, yeah. like, n now in this moment, we will test whether you exist. <laughs> oh, is, dang. Oh, I'm yeah. testing the gods here. Like oh. my, my, yeah. This would be the preface. This would be the best way to kill you. <laughs> that's persona, right? <laughs> yeah, it's one persona. Yeah. You add your whole nature to the role. Okay. If you want to also spend Persona to add dice, you can spend Persona for plus 1D, up to three of them. And oh, hold on. oh. Lots of Persona. Yeah, what do we got? I need six for next level. I am right at that, but... No, this is... I mean, this will give me another four... No, no, be one less because of sickness. Yeah, I assume you already took sickness out. You're, you're yeah, but... Your trait, that gives plus 1D. Sick gives minus 1D. Sickness doesn't get, like, double affected when you Okay, okay. That's okay. Right. Good. It's just good minus one D off your total, not right. each time you add in something. So, uh, so I'll be rolling uh, eight dice here. Okay. Eight off three. That's t seems good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more. I'll, I'll throw one more. Why not? Okay. I mean, can't take it with you. Wait. Literally, you can. You totally you can't can. take more yeah. than three with you. So, right? Sure. Something like I think that. that. I think that math checks out. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, Matt. Let's see if you defy the gods or not. All right. What? Oh, ob three. Anything else to that ob? All right. No, because I assume you're part of that uh, in the light, so that's not a factor. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the casting this spell um, in your your backpack is a factor. I don't think, right. or I don't, I don't think any of that is. So no, I think yeah. I think you're good. I think I think you're good. This burning chaos symbol on my chest isn't. Uh... <laughs> uh, no, because you're calling out to the the, the nature to your, to your nature, right? right? Yeah, not yeah. the. Yeah, this is an unappealing. Here we go. No. Oh wow! Oh, damn. Well, the gods exist. The gods do exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good problem. <laughs> Bezel's just a little shaken by that. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> this is blinding light. <laughs> Something's wrong here. That worked. <laughs> Um, uh, so I have to cast it upon something. So yeah. I just cast it on the torch that is in uh, <laughs> Cadence's hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I guess that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and it's cool because it lasts a phase. It doesn't. It doesn't burn out like a torch would. Nice. It lasts until we camp. It it acts like a torch, but it, it in terms of how much light it provides. Holy. But, but it, okay. it, it keeps going. It's so torch. my nature doesn't get affected there because I was demanding. Your nature does not. It was within your nature. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So. Damn, yeah. you were demanding. Demanded a lot. Wow. You just demanded so. from the gods and they delivered. And yeah. I, I can mark off a pass on Ritualist even though I'm sick. I just can't advance anything. Correct. Got it. Got it. Just making sure. <laughs> Cool. All right. Good. We good call light. remembering that because spells are the one thing that don't. Well, spells and instincts are the one don't thing that count against. Yeah. The, count against grind. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and I think as as your holy light shines up, that's when we see the first like stark reflections of the Null Mother emerging from the darkness. Um, I think let's <laughs> Take get that, ready. Take that, Mother. Get ready to rumble. Yep. Let me see what the gnolls have for a conflict of this nature yeah what is what does capture even use i don't remember okay we could Split up. It's not as bad as it could be. Yeah. Praise the sun. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good roll. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. What a what a good way to that's a that's an auspicious way to start this this engagement. Yeah. It's... 
not going to get any better. <laughs> so who is leading our conflict? You are. I think it might I be am. you. Oh, Jesus. I think you said you <laughs> are. Well, okay. I, I think, uh, I think Basil's, I think Epi said that Basil was like, yeah, sure. And like being confused. I, you, yeah. You, I was, I was drifting off towards the chaos symbol. Right. Uh, okay, if you want me to, I will, but I'm sick. Uh, so we're going to be hurting so hard okay. on, uh, our, uh, disposition. I, I literally think it's whoever, I mean, Bryn. No, I can do I, it. Cause I, I, uh, I'll, I'll, I mean, you just yeah, cast a spell. Because, uh, I'll no be one like, has really taken the lead. Yeah. yeah. I'll jump in front and be like, remember they're, they're going to go crazy with the attacks. Uh, they've got they've got no quarter. They'll keep coming at us. Because remember, they just kept attacking last time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I miss metaphysically time, passed the torch. And this time, I'm not using my bow. So, it, uh, but they're not using bows either. Huh? Yeah. These well, times for, they were using spears. For, for, for conflict captain, weapons don't matter. Right. They right. But really... there was like the disarm thing. Yeah. Um, but these guys don't have those. Okay. So. I will lead the conflict, uh, meaning that I have to roll our disposition, right? Yes. Mm, which is f for a capture. It's fight or I don't know what. It's fight. Uh, capture is fighter or hunter, and you're gonna add your will. Uh, so I think fighter is what I'm using, and I have my will, which is four. That's Oh, okay. You don't add it to the dice. You're just going to add it to your will. Oh, 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 your will okay. is like the base. So I roll thing. three dice. Yeah, and we can help. Um, Every Everybody who has fighter or hunter and is contributing in the yeah. conflict should help. Nope. I will help. Okay. <laughs> nope. Yeah, sorry. Those those are not my things. Uh, three is the rating. All right. And then who's coming in with help? Uh, yeah. I'll help. Two? Bryn's helping. She's she's okay, to help cocking her crossbow on the ground. <laughs> um, and our um, our trap is largely at this point our uh, our setup for how we're we're capturing. It's not going to count as anything towards the like an item or any bonus towards the disposition. No. no. I, I think it just sort of fictionally established the possibility. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't, uh, there's no way we could um, separate her out yep. without something. So obviously, uh, per the handout, uh, capture conflicts, um, fighter and hunter are your, are your skills. Okay, so that's four plus four is eight. Cool. Okay. That's how good. would you like, how would you like to distribute, um, how would you like to distribute um, the disposition? Well, we'll start out with just kind of hand and one out to everyone, right? Uh, did you add in a helping die from Oog? Uh, I didn't. Yeah. Should I, I'll throw in a... Yeah. Oops. Unless, unless T is not... I do like, I do kind of like rolling his separately. To see how well it is. If Oog helped. Um. <laughs> Oog did not help. Oh, Aw, he's hurt. Um... <laughs> Gosh, so I think we want everyone that's hurt. Ogre, needs... not LeBron James. <laughs> everyone who's hurt and in, in bad positions should have extra disposition, right? Because when we go down, we'll take a thing, right? Um. I mean, does that look that look good to you guys? Uh, yeah, you have to roughly equal. Uh, it, what's the word? You, you have do to it as evenly as possible. Equate them. You have to do it as evenly as possible. Yeah, yeah. evenly as possible. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, everyone has two or one, so that's yeah. fine, right? Yep. Yeah. So, yep. So the, the remainders is, is totally discretionary to the conflict captain, which you just did successfully. Uh, like, um, okay. That, that's cool. Next thing up is you guys huh. deciding the order of operations, attacks, and cards. Um, I will move you around based on um, circumstances. Sweet. Yeah, he's doing what? Okay. Yeah, so we should figure out our actions first, and then who wants to fill them? Fighter, hunter, hunter, fighter. Oh, this is not good, guys. <laughs> you've got, um, you've got. Uh, That's real bad, fellas. <laughs> what was that? You got elder charts prepared, yeah. right? I have it on a scroll. Oh, um, I thought you had it prepared. Okay. No, I, I do not know elder charts. I do have celestial music, which could really like 
we could totally use that to lure somebody forward uh, or to you know drive some of the gnolls back whatever like i, I have yeah. things i can do or, but um i do not have any of the skills for this conflict okay so we want versus conflicts right so that we can not so that if we independent tests are just going to knock us down if they get any successes right if yeah. they're attacking and we're attacking yes yeah uh, so i mean last time they went attack 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 that was their that was yeah their so thing. we want to defend or Ooh, oh. faint so uh, faint automatically loses against attack. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So we don't want to faint. We probably don't want to defend because defend it does have the advantage of being versus with attack, but it doesn't do anything for us if we succeed. Yeah. Um, Maneuver is versus attack, and if someone is using a bow, which you are, Virgil, that's I'm awesome. not though because I have the torch in one hand, so I only have a knife. Oh uh, no. Okay. Uh, Okay. Can we, I mean, like, as part of arming our weapons, can we move that around? Or is that already set in stone? Um, um, that would be Eric's call. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I, I was I was talking to Michael in chat. <laughs> One more time. Can, can we, uh, like, it, at this point, this is where we're arming ourselves, right? Yes. Can we have so can we switch hand the like torch who's holding off to someone? the magic torch? Like, uh, the yeah, because you are off. you're you're this is because uh, you haven't de- you're you're in the declare your equipment stage of the conflict. So yes. Okay, great. So oh. Linus, you can take a the magic torch then, right? <laughs> yeah, I can hold the torch. Sure. Um, I I drop the normal torch I had. I'll pick it back up later if I need to. Um, mm-hmm. it wasn't lit or anything, so. I was just carrying around a torch to be ready. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I drop whatever torch that was. We were walking around with a bunch of unlit torches. Like a, I mean, I basically had it in my hand because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Um, so, so were you saying that Maneuver is going to be good good versus their attack with a bow? If we uh, can... If you... Well, hold on a second. Let's parse it out. If we do Maneuver... Okay, if we're assuming that they're scripting attack, which we don't know, but they did last time. Maneuver is always versus attack. Um... Uh, attack is versus attack if you're using a bow or some other weapon, a sling, I think. Uh, or if, if you're using a bow. So if you wanted to do a lot of verses, we could do like maneuver that's not cadence and attack with cadence, and then some, and those would both be verses. Um, assuming again that they're attacking, which seems likely. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Um... So I think maybe we just start off with an attack for me with the bow. Okay. Uh, and then who wants who who's gonna be a good maneuver after that? Um, um, do we want to throw Oog right up in the mix? What's the uh, conflict action type for a maneuver? Is it's hunter? Hunter. Or sorry, uh, fighter. Fighter. I was looking at. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oog is probably a pretty good fighter. Yeah, he's gonna roll yeah. his nature, yeah. and he's gonna roll his nature. But yeah, he doesn't. He's not gonna. Roll, he's not gonna give a crap about our silly little skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oog Oog don't need skill. Oog has. <laughs> Oog. Um, oh. So basically, both attack and maneuver use fighter, and yeah. we all have fighter except for Linus. So divide it any old way you want. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, then we'll do a third a third attack. Uh, <laughs> And why don't we have uh, Basil go ahead? Do you want to go ahead and get up in there? It seems sure. like you're raring for action. I'm, uh, yeah, I could use a fail on the fighter. Good. Okay. <laughs> excellent. Uh, All right. Then I think we are set up with me taking the first move, Oog taking the second move, uh, and Basil taking the third move. Okay. And and just so I'm clear, what the moves are are attack, attack maneuver, attack. maneuver, attack. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so that last attack will be independent. It, it, again, we're making this assumption uh, that they're scripting oh, attack, oh, attack. Yeah. Um, uh, so maybe. So we could have Basil do a defend, but then if they faint, we're foesed. Now, uh, if I don't have Hunter, I can defend with my nature, right? Uh, no. No. We'll be defending okay. with your health or whatever the base of Hunter is. Oh, well, yeah, because, so he wants to be. Uh, 
Mm. You'll be defending yeah. with half your health, rather. You're, yeah, well. You'll be beginner's lucking. Now, yeah. you can use so your no good. if you uh, describe a reason why your nature applies. Right, but, right. Yeah, you can you can always bring in nature if you don't have the skill. Or you can bring in nature even if it doesn't apply, but then it gets taxed no matter what. So, so yeah, there are ways to do it, but it's not a default. It doesn't just immediately go to nature. Yeah. So we don't want to do this attack uh, yeah. third. Yeah. Again, unless we think they're fainting. It's, yeah, which I... I mean, uh, it doesn't... I doubt it, so I think it's going to have to be a maneuver. <laughs> right, so that that way we have a chance at matching our dice versus their dice. All right, but attack, maneuver, maneuver is not an efficient setup. Maneuvering not... maneuvering sets you up oh, oh, so better. So, so, Don't maneuver yourself yeah. to maneuver. That's just sort of you're spinning your wheels. Okay. Um, so... Um... You could go maneuver, attack, maneuver, or you could go uh, maneuver, attack. Uh, I'm I'm willing to sorry. do I mean, defend. My fight and my uh, health are going to be the same. Yeah, but so, your health will be halved. Yeah, but it's already like my fighter is one die because I'm sick, and my health is two halved. Can I go below one die? Well, <laughs> One, it just you just take the six just takes one die off of it doesn't remove reduce your skills it just takes one die off your total pool at the end so right but it matters what you're how you're getting your pool right now right right but what I'm saying is like in the end they're like because I'm both of them are so on that one range that it doesn't uh, right it doesn't matter which one I do However, but I have right. a shield yeah as you say your shield gives you plus two D on defend yeah. yeah. Oh, so okay. Am, so that's that's so, pretty good then. All right. So you had two cards out, right? I ex I was yeah, moving no, things I around. I might have messed up. Uh, I'm just thinking that maybe I don't want to attack first. You know, you should maneuver first. Uh, maneuver, attack, maneuver. If that's better than the. Yeah, I think maneuver, attack, maneuver, or maneuver, attack, defend. If we want to take the chance that they're just going attack, 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 are both fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have the plus plus two to defend, right? So let's throw that at last, and then we'll just switch me and Oog so that Oog maneuvers for my attack. Again, and then defend at the last. Thing. Okay. So yeah, Oog makes an opening. I get in. Uh, uh, stab, 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 and then back off and get behind the shield. I mean, it yeah. sounds like a pretty good plan. And by step, 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 you mean choo, choo, choo. Oh, yeah, right. I got my arrows <laughs> now. I, I can... You uh, can just, like, hold them up for me like though, targets while I shoot them Even though we're not down. attacking, we need to declare our weapons, so Bran has her crossbow. Shield. I have my dagger. I'm not doing anything, but... Uh, uh, was that oh, one of those that did attack? Yeah, yeah, that middle one is attack. That the middle was... one is attack. Here, I'll get it. We, we literally said that. I got it. I got it for you. I got it for you. Yeah. Oh, oh. Here, I'll take ah! it. Double action. It's two attacks. The secret double action. Oh, man. It's the, the dual wielder. Deal once you start getting multiple actions and fight. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. So OP. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. All right. Out, this, even oh, led I, got by a, leader. I was really, I wasn't saying anything because I don't want us to like get into overthinking it, but I was really worried that with like the dead mother around, they were actually right. tactics. Mm -hmm. um, that, yeah. And they might still, yeah, I was crossing my fingers too. I was like, oh man, Eric might like, throw paint in there, but hey. These might not be the same kind that we're used to, but. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. okay. So, so, all that's, of these are versus rolls. That's that's the trick. That's good. Okay. So I, I didn't I didn't do terrible. Good. Oh, you did great. No, um, actually, you did great. <laughs> hey, all of them um, versus rolls. So, so it's not me making both rolls? Uh, would somebody like to roll it for for sure. here? Uh, that'll be me because I have nothing else going on this. Yay! This Thank yeah. you. Um, Oogs, Oogs, um, so might doesn't come into capture complex, does it? It does. It does. Okay. Capture, kill, and drive off. Oogs, yeah. Oogs might is five, and there's, their nature is eight. Um, they don't have anything for maneuvering. Okay. Their, their weapon doesn't help with maneuvering. Yeah. Their club. Yeah. So, but, so, we, but we can help with fighter, so we can give Oog helping dice. Yeah. So he, or, he starts out with five for his nature, basically. No, he starts out with eight for his nature. Yeah. Oh, His sorry, might five, eight. nature eight. Sorry. Yeah. And my okay. nose. Let's see. 
Uh, and then, okay, so any help trait supplies or other modifiers. Um, so he's getting something for being higher on the order of might. No, it'll it'll no. add successes. Add successes, okay. Sorry, I have totally lost track of how to play Torch. No problem. Uh, it's it's <laughs> the difference in order of might will be added to his successes if he succeeds. Just like weapon, you know, plus successes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's all coming back to me now. Okay, uh, any other help? Yeah, I start raining down arrows. <laughs> Uh, in like a, in a, a, yeah, we should describe what he's practically doing. in in like a panic because uh, exactly. there's I, there's like a flood of these things to where we like we there's more than we can even fight right now, right, Eric? Like you yeah. said that there's more 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 yeah, enemies think, than surface area. Oops so maneuver is basically like wading in with a, a club and waving it. Like his maneuver is to break them up and put them into chaos so that then we can grab who we want and pull down the sailing yeah. basically so exactly. yeah he's he's just wading in and like waving it around which I, um, raining arrows is perfect for that uh okay so that's one helping dice anybody else uh yeah i'll run into the thick of it uh holding my shield up um to avoid being hit by the rain of arrows uh <laughs> and i'm gonna just like uh like a basil on a mission, just <laughs> head straight towards the gnoll mother. Nice. Uh, Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> That's all that, that should be yeah. fun. Um That won't that won't mess up. What? No. no. <laughs> what was the what was the like guy uh Master Blaster, right? This is totally <laughs> like Linus and, and Master Blaster. <laughs> like, ooh, attack, right? Like, ooh, it's like smash for my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. Um, anything uh, else before I, I hit roll on this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bryn, Bryn will help. Um, uh, and I think Bryn helps in like a slightly more subtle way because the dead mother has definitely seen the, um, definitely seen the trap. Like she kind of knows like something's going on. And Bryn helps by just grabbing the rope and like staring at her and like, and like, you know, like acting like she's gonna, like she could pull it at any moment. Like just like to psych her out. Like, uh, I'm still using fighter, but I'm just describing it as like, you know, <laughs> me uh, like preparing to, to well, class. Well, totally a, a fighterly thing, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, so hopefully this goes well because he doesn't have oh. a persona, so. Well, and he has minus one die because he's injured. So okay. all the dice then subtract one because we have So let me take one off there, okay. Uh, ob, I'm gonna put zero in there because it's versus anyway. Only four. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of ones in there. Oh, we tie. Ooh. Tie. Um, how does Order of Might affect this? Oh, God. We always run into this. It doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't affect. Uh, you have to win for Order of Might to succeed. I don't know. Well, factor, right? I think we, we went back and forth on this. And... thing before of like, it was phrased. Uh, okay. Um, I think you have. I think you have to win because it's. it's, it's Order of Might counts as plus one successes, and plus one successes means you have to win the test. Yeah. For them to factor. I think on yeah. versus tests, getting wait, wait, wait. the same. Wait, wait, right. hey, I've got this really quick. Page eight, plus S. The plus S notation indicates that a number of bonus successes are applied to successful or tied rolls. Oh, ah, there we go. Or tied. There we go. Huzzah. Thanks, Thanks Luke Crane. Nice. Thank you. And, and Tor. <laughs> Thank eight. you. Ooh. Awesome. Man. Okay, so Coming Ooh. through. Um, so U gives up uh, a plus two, and the axes of the mother only gives a plus one. So you succeed by one. Nice. Succeed by one. So uh, oh. we did not get a whole lot of options. Like our choice made for us on what we get out of maneuver. Um, yeah, you impede. Yeah. We impede. Yeah. So uh, axes have plus one S on on attack. Is that yes. the? Yes. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. They're using uh, savage axes. Oh. Yeah. Um. This one. No. For for what it's worth. Um. This one, this one, I never actually declared what what they all have. Um, they, they alternate between axes and biting. Okay. okay. Axes. Uh, so yeah, they take a minus one it's, dice disadvantage to their next action. It doesn't change what I would be doing. Um, so yeah, we're set up for hopefully a better attack coming up. Though man, that was ten dice, and we only got four successes. Yeah. That's a okay. Okay. Eh, I mean, yeah. And, and like, it's not the most unfortunate role I've had, yeah. believe me. But you're, like, it's, I mean, like it's a, yeah, it still succeeded. We didn't take it. We didn't get hurt, and they're impeded. So hey. 
Oh. Wait, do um, I? Do... I don't want to be a downer. Uh oh. Oog, Oog was part of your disposition. Right? Yeah. Oog was also tired. Oh. Remember from, from last session. Uh, uh, oh. So Oog. you will have to remove one of them. Uh, uh, that's only or... hungry and thirsty. Tired only affects if you're the leader. He doesn't. Oh. He doesn't subtract successes if he's the. Oh well, yeah. never mind. Okay, yeah. never mind. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. Good. Yeah. Okay. No, wouldn't exhaust. Isn't that a factor in tests? Yeah, but he didn't test it. It, but it is a factor in this test. <sighs> okay. It's it's because it, he's he can you can add a helping dies exhausted and it's only help uh it's only hungry and thirsty that gives minus one on dispo oh. if if anyone is but Oog, what i'm saying is that Oog's, Oog's attack would have been a minus one success because they're yes. exhausted exactly yeah it wouldn't so, be on it wouldn't reduce our dispo but it would reduce the successes on this one well okay so we haven't we haven't made the next roll yet so like hold on that actually but that actually means that we tied yeah exactly you know what i yeah. mean yep nothing happened on this one no you're totally right okay so that's that's a... so so we're still in the first so so hold on so we have to roll back like one minute we haven't we haven't gone past it yet it's just that the final result of the new reverse attack because i i'm sorry and it's my bad i for, i didn't have the symbol up for him um, no, no, yeah, yeah because no, he yeah. was tired he was he was tired he from was. last session yep um yep. so that means that it was a tie of five successes versus five successes yep. yeah um no it, it's it's actually it's the other way the no mother wins because because then we don't get our bonus. Or, yeah, or there wasn't a tie in the first place to give the might order of might bonus. Oh um, yeah, no, you're right. Because then I win. I win five. If you, um, minus, if you see a notation of minus s, this is also page eight. Subtract indicated number of successes shit. after you roll, pass, or fail. So order of operations matters. Do you do the plus s based on the roll? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. Look, I don't. I've always done it. I've always done it that exhaustion counts as a factor, and it it, it removes one success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so after everything's said and done, um, order. Yep. Order of might. Okay. Uh, it's a factor. So like that that happens before you add order of might because like that that gives you your your number and then. Yep. I think you're right. So. So it's a three versus four. Is no, it's three versus five because she then succeeds and gets plus one S because she succeeded. Yeah. So. So you, it's minus two. Yep. Oh shit. So I'm sorry. Out. That's a big fucking changer, and I'm so sorry. But I, I, yeah. I mean, that's. Yeah. No, you're totally right. It was. Uh, it, if if Ugo wasn't exhausted, would have been all good. But Ugo yeah. is exhausted, and therefore that changed it. Yeah. Completely. Um, and there's nothing we can do about it because Ugo doesn't have a persona. Yeah, yeah, and all that jazz, right? Um, also, we be screwed. But yeah, we know, are in a we're in a real bad place. Now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I think the axe comes down. Um, right, it right into Ook's Ook's chest, and and he's already kind of like falling, and that's like Boromir's third arrow yeah. um, <laughs> scenario. Yeah. Well, uh, we never know. We could yeah, defend, yeah, he, yeah, get that that dispo back. Oog might, yeah, exactly. Oog might stand again. He might rally. Totally. He might rally. <laughs> but ow. Does rally. <laughs> That's a, a rallyable strike. You're <laughs> up and at him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why it's always hard well, to like. You don't want to win this fox hunt, boys. <laughs> you don't want to commit too hard with 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 taking dispo in conflicts because you're like oh you're out oh but you can get back up again yeah um, exactly does you have armor out of curiosity does he does his uh, hide no uh, no um, okay. no i say that no he does cool. no they have a benefit to um oh wait no no nope. it'll say if it says armor you know you some things have like their hide counts as leather or chain or something like that but i just wondered if he uh, no it doesn't say okay well, okay, I'm gonna avenge Oog. Yeah, I uh, whoever that. sunk this uh, this axe into him is gonna get uh, their skull split by one of my arrows, hopefully. Um, <laughs> so I draw back and start start launching volleys directly at where Oog has fallen to try to clear the area, mm -hmm. um, so that he doesn't get ravaged. Yeah. So my fighter skill is three. Submit that. Uh, help, traits, supplies, or other modifiers. 
Um, Brand is definitely helping. She, she she's not just holding onto this rope. She's she's firing that crossbow and shooting fools. Okay, and then is my bow making any difference with the ranged attack in this? No, the bow uh, just makes it right. an, a versus attack instead of a, right. an independent. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, I'm rolling my eight dice again. So this is fighter again, right? Yep. Uh, right. The attack is fighter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, Basil, Basil's going to help as well. Uh, shaken out of his uh, his hypnotic stupor uh, by Oog falling slow mo, when uh, you know the 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 violin music is playing in the background, uh, Basil <laughs> <laughs> turns his robe in the wind and rushes over with his shield to uh, cover, try and cover. I guess one eighth of Oog, one <laughs> one sixteenth of Oog. You're like, there's a little bit of flesh over here that's not bleeding yet. I'll cover yeah. that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I can't do much to like. It's not okay. I actually um, don't help, but I do the same thing. Uh, uh, you can help with Caves of Chaos wise if you wanted to bring it in. Oh, dang yes. it! I could. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, we should have thought about that for last time. That might have been the whole difference of yeah. move. Yeah, it might have been. But, <laughs> but uh, it's not worth rewinding now. No. I just have to live with himself for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I help with Caves of Chaos Wise. Uh, how do I do that? Um, geez, what would I know about the. I'm actually kind of stumped on, like, it should apply somehow. Uh, anybody got ideas? Like, it. Um, I mean, I think you could say like we know we know that the that these gnolls um, we know these gnolls are, are follow the lords of chaos. They're they, you know they're attack they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna attack wildly and uh, wait for one to land. You know you, you could I think you might oh, have I, some I, 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 of the gnolls. Yeah, that, that puts me down on a, a road of thinking about the gnolls themselves. Yeah, so um, Linus totally knows that these gnolls are like ravenously hungry. And so he makes himself like look appetizing. Uh, he's like there, like he like rips open his shirt or something. <laughs> yes. Come on, you want something to flex, eat? Flex the, the muscles. Yeah. Uh, eat this, come on. And like tries to to draw their attention. Open. I mean, he's thinking of saving Oog, but it opens them up to attack as well if they pay any attention to him. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason he's at all successful in that is that he's capes of chaos wise. Um, and I can spend three persona for three extra dice on this. Yes, you can. You can also spend a persona to tap your nature, but I don't think this is running. Yeah, I don't think it's okay. running, boasting, or, or um, demanding. So no, they're elving. Well, they're elving. Well, if I oh, if elf. I use the three, yeah, Sorry. no, I'm elven. So if I use the three, though, that brings me up to nine, nine, nine versus eight. So that's not yeah. too terrible. Uh, so yeah, I let fly my my arrows through to to vengeance for for the fallen dude. Uh, okay. Do I have an op here or just it's one, versus? Right? Uh, yeah, it's one. Oh. Uh, I win by one right now because uh, I have I a can, plus one. I, I have fate. plus one success. What? I can fate right. Yeah, that's six. Uh, yeah, just just for quick math and everyone watching at home, uh, we tied with we tied at three, um, but. All the all of the gnolls have plus one success on their because of their weapons on their attack actions, right? Those uh, are savage sexes. Right. Before you, you get before. it. All right. Uh, so now uh, we're tied. So that's a tie. Yes. No, it's not. No, no. Oh, no it's, then, it's, they, then they don't have the plus one success. The plus one success is only on a tie or a win, so it's not okay. a tie or a win anymore. So, so it's four oh, versus yeah. three. So, so you're winning by one. Yeah. So you win by one. Yeah. Excellent. I'm glad yeah, I spent all that person. If you want to, <laughs> you if you have a wise, you can also go tap reroll failures. Uh, reroll failures with Vader persona if a wise if you have an opponent. Uh, I don't elven craft and human art. human art. Yeah, no, not really. They're not really fighting fighting yeah. stuff. Uh, but I feel pretty good that I, you know. I mean, yeah. I don't want to. I didn't die. We, we're we're on episode ten now. If everyone's keeping track and playing at home. I feel a little less reluctant to to help you, because I, I, I def I see a gap of or I see I see a reason how you can use you know I see a deficiency in your logic about wises I see one. 
Right. Um, I mean, you could use Elven craft wise because we talked all about the Elven construction of this mm. of this set. Uh, that would be my 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 take. But yeah, maybe um, maybe since I've like I, I did take some time and like look at all the stone work, uh, I know exactly like where they're gonna have to step back when I'm like firing at them, so I can like uh, I can get I, I like. <laughs> I'm like about to fire, and I'm like, oh wait, I was o right over there, and there's like, there's a spot for them to step. He's gonna go right over there, and like start leading my shots. How about that? Yeah, because you know where the rocks. Yeah. I would, um, I would, so you that to... costs another persona, right? Persona lets you reroll all failures. Yeah. And then you had a lot. So one, that's, two, that's of three, course. four, five, six. I'd be like, of course, they have nowhere to go except for right there. That's where I should be aiming. Uh, what did I just count up? Four? One, two, and they have six three, failed dice. Four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, Let me put this one back. Uh, you got one, you got two more two. successes. Yeah. Okay. So you beat them by three. Yep. Okay, excellent. Uh, yeah, so I like, yeah, find, I'm like letting loose all these arrows and the first ones they're dodging and then I'm like, wait, I know, I know exactly where they're dodging to. And then they just start like stepping sideways, boom, boom, right into my, uh, right into my arrows. Yeah. Nice. And it looks like you took one of them out, at least for now. You did. You did take one out for now. Uh, then our third round goes. Let's see Back. if they, let's see if they start defending now. <laughs> okay. All right. I doubt it. Speaking of defending. Yeah. Okay. So this actually is a useful defend. If you defend, you can pull Oog back up. Right. Yeah. So here's here's how it's going to go down. I have two health, and I get plus two for the shield, so that's four. Uh, anyone else helping? Yeah, I uh, I help by I I do like a um using like some fighting techniques. I do like a fake rush forward, like as if I was gonna try to get to Oog to like pull him back. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I like dive in to like draw them to one area where he can like you know uh, bash them all away from Oog. Um, so I draw their attention away so that like it looks like I'm going for Oog, but really I'm opening up an angle for him to get in there. Yeah, nice. And since right. you're pulling with health, right, anybody can help. So Linus, yeah. well, um, uh, Linus, if you want to, um, I don't know if, you, uh, Sage, I don't know if you have the idea that Linus would try and help Oog, like, step back, but but Bryn would definitely, like, cover his retreat. Like, she would she would step up to try and, like, you know, put my, a crossbow in the way of anybody that would, like, try and advance if you helped him, if you're helping him retreat. My thought, actually, in, in helping with this was that um, Linus runs over to the rope, and because he's Caves of Chaos wise, he knows exactly how, how hard to pull it, that it won't actually come down. <laughs> and so he like runs up to it and makes it look like he's about to collapse the thing. Nice. Uh, to try Jake. and like scare them back. Cool. Um, yeah. if, if that's, I mean, it's a little specific for Caves of, Caves of Chaos wise, but I, I think it's probably close enough. I think I, I allow it. Okay, great. Okay. All right. So that's three helping dice from y'all. Uh, so that brings me up to seven divided by two, <laughs> um, which brings two me weapon. back down. God, I hate that with people. Use I know almost everything gets divided, but I'm not sure. Uh, traits and persona are the only ones that do not get divided. Supplies and everything else does. Trait yeah. and persona dice do not. Yeah, sorry. I was just looking that up. So yep, no problem. I remember that from mouse guard. So yeah, yeah. but I am going to spend some persona also uh, the thing about shields are is that the closer you get them to your enemy, the more effective they are. It's, it reduces the uh, the angle that they can get at you. So I'm going to be completely foolhardy and defend from the front line. Yeah, <laughs> up, in, up in their face. Uh, up in their face, screaming at them, uh, jamming them in the teeth with it. it. Yeah, slobbers all, right. all over your, your, your shield. So how many persona? It's up to three I can spend. Uh, up to on... three for three dice. Okay. Alternatively, you can spend one to tap your nature. Uh, no, I think I'm going to do the, these three. 
because yeah. yeah this is yeah. this is it like, this is this is All a right. big this is a big deal yeah yeah they this have a big deal success, so we like, have to not just tie we definitely have to beat epi them. epi i'm sincerely <laughs> worried right now this is this is a very big deal this is a big deal test right now yeah you All can right. do both if you want you can tap for you can spend your nature and add in if you have the extra persona i i have plenty of persona uh okay but that means whoever follows basil will only start with two instead of three persona <laughs> <laughs> planning on my death here all right so yeah. three four so i add eight of them all right so three from that and then eight from that and uh no uh uh da, 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 da. Beginner's like is have rounded up. If you had started with seven, it would. Oh, be... it's rounded up. Yes. Okay, so it's four and eight. We try again. And then minus one because you're sick. Ah, so we were right the first time. Okay. Yeah. Well, Sorry. Sorry. I just it's between, between the pluses you're and the right minuses. Well, let's, get, let's make sure the calculator has the right equation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, right. All right. And and I'm, am I putting any anything in for the ob? I always forget one. with these things. One. Got it. Oh, we haven't been keep. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. You're good. I was like, oh, light, but we're good. We have the light, yeah, fancy it's light. Plenty of light. Yep. Okay. Ready? Ready. Come on. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, all right. Okay. I get that plus one. Well, Damn. let's let's see. You get the plus one if he doesn't. If he doesn't, he's got two sixes in there. Now I could earn some. Do you have any here. fate? <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't time to talk about I could chips. get a, I could break the tie in my <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you I could, could, I could, I could make a tie and then break it, yeah. yeah. Uh I got some fate. Let's let's um so, what can I spend yeah. fate on on the, the ones? Yeah, folks who are listening, we tied again, only this time we both tied with six. Yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, fate. you gotta be able to ring something out of that. Well yeah, do, you have, do you have a do you have a wise that is relevant? I have bandit wise. <clears throat> um Mm. I get, I can stretch it to make it relevant, but I don't know if 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 that's. So I mean, I I'd say bust out the the fate. The fate yeah, you the can fate spend, of the gods yeah. have been smiling on you so far. I think you get two more chances if you spend yeah. one. That's yeah, you spend sweet. fate and you roll the sixes, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I um, want to do that. Mechanically, that's just it's called luck. Yeah. Um. So be that as it may. All right. Yeah. Let, let's let's see the code for it. that. Slash roll two d six slash roll two d six exclamation mark. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Two d six factorial. <laughs> Not almost. <sure. laughs> yeah, exactly. Fifty. Fifty two. Let's let's talk. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh, no, the one and a two is not going to give you but, that extra S. <laughs> but, but did you say that we lost by one in that case? Or was yeah. it by two? No, we lost. Well, wow. great shirt, by the way, Sage. It oh, says DCC you. RPG for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I put this on this morning without remembering that we we're going to play tonight. So a little coincidence. So, OK, so that's it. Unless there's nothing else, I can't really do the. But he's, he's you're just here. losing one disposition then, right? And we're not losing you. Yeah, you're losing one yeah. disposition. Now okay. you have, I believe, you have a helmet and uh, armor. Yeah. Yes. I do. So you could you could negate. You can. You could, you could just like lose the helmet. It's damaged mm -hmm. or lost, and remove it. Or you could roll your armor. I don't know if you could try both. I don't know if you first try the armor, and then if that doesn't work. The helmet. I don't remember the. But it's it's a roll to use armor. Yeah, yeah, leather. Sorry. No, you're right. No, keep yeah. going. I, I yeah. love. I was just gonna just remark how how great it is to have proficient players in the game where I can <laughs> shut up and let other people. Yeah. yeah so uh, you roll a d6 on a four, five, or six. Your leather armor stops it. It doesn't work against bows or a couple other things, but or spears. But the this is bite, and I don't think I don't think bites are counting as. I think bites are not counting as bows or spears. So. All right. I'm gonna roll for the leather armor. Sure. Because uh, the helmet specifically has Oog's vomit in it. And, uh, and I it's precious to, to you. Yeah. yeah. You want to yeah. keep yeah. that. Sure. That that sounds, that sounds. You got it. There we go. There's the six. Yeah. Yeah. And does that one explode? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're our right. super yeah. armor. Yeah. armor. So what sense. we got it's out like, of all yeah, of that like... was nothing. There's a dead zero on both sides, right? 
Yep. I, I okay. inflict one point of damage to you and you negate it. Excellent. Perfect. So that was exactly how I wanted it to go. Top um, of the round. Be you top of the round. Yeah. Slightly better position than they are, but only yeah. slightly. Top of the round, slightly better position. Oog's still out of the conflict. And I think um we'll we'll go to a break on the on a cliffhanger still. And oh, we'll nice. see you guys in a couple minutes. Nice. Uh, it's nine o'clock, we still got another about out, another ninety minutes or so uh, of the game. So um we'll, nice. we'll see you see you all on the other side. Cool. The nail biter. Yeah, it is. <laughs>